Hey everybody, Winstreak here. This is episode 1 of Mechanics Vault. Today we'll be looking at move to mouse click. So let's hop on in. And we have three different mechanics here. So we're going to have our normal mouse click. And that's just going to move us to our character. We're going to interact with solid so we can't walk through them. And we also are going to have a smart click that will walk us around our slow path. And as you can see, if we walk through it, we would be way slower. So the smart path is smart enough to walk around and save us time. So let's hop into the code. And we're going to start out with our left click. And this is simply based off of move to. So looking on the left here, we can see the property types I gave to the hero class. And this is using the move to feature. Key notes, I do have set angle turned off. So my character does not turn around when I am walking or go upside down when I'm moving to the left. And I also have stop on solids. So I set him to solid as well as the trees to solid. Next, we have our slow zone. That is created by just adding an additional sprite object. And then we call that sprite object with our pathfinding object. So we need to have this pathfinding class open up on our hero as well. I don't have anything special going on inside of the properties, but we do need to set a value for that slow zone. And as you can see here, I have 40 set. The normals are 10 for a normal walk through a cell, 14 at a diagonal. And since I am trying to slow my character down to 50 from 200, it's a four times slower. So I did a four times cost. So instead of being 10, it'll be 40. And that'll make him avoid that area. After you set that cost, you have to regenerate the pathfinding obstacle map or else the cost won't be added in. To make pathfinding work, you're going to have a two-part process. We'll start out with a call to start finding your path. And mine is on right click. And it's just going to stop whatever was happening. Find a new path. And it's just going to go to our mouse.x, mouse.y. And then once that path is found, it's going to stop the move to and start its new path again. And this one will be the newly calculated way to walk around solids as well as slow zones and anything else you want to put in the way. And one last quick thing to add here, my move to function and move to pathfinding both look a little weird. We have this zero in here. So a normal move to is just going to be mouse.x. And then this zero is going to grab my scale, which is 2.4. And I'll automatically do the math to find out where my mouse x and mouse y are. Otherwise, my clicks would not line up with where my character goes. And that's just something you have to worry about when you're using scale. 